Okay, guys, look, uh, the guy who likes metal, cool name, huh? He just asked me about uh, the first and second dimension, what they were like. And I started to type it to him, and then I went, wait a minute, I probably should do a video on this for all of you guys. Uh, like I think I've told you guys before, I'm kind of confused why people divide the third and the fourth dimension, other than it's just on, you know, Earth-based, even though it's not just on Earth. But from a human perspective, it feels like it's just Earth, and then the fourth dimension, you get introduced to the rest of the planets in the multiverse. And maybe that's why it's divided from a human perspective. And But to me, they're very much the same. There should be like one dimension, the third and the fourth dimension. But I say third and fourth for you guys. So when it comes to the first and the second, I put those together because they're very much alike. But I wanted you to all to understand that remember how I told you that we don't name these things third, fourth, fifth, sixth. It's all vibrational and we will match the vibration okay there is the those third and fourth and one and two and five and six that was all just arbitrarily named by humans those numbers okay they don't really exist out in the, all that is whenever you're looking at things outside all right uh, we find what you call the third and the fourth by locking onto a vibration, like turning the channel on a TV or a radio to that channel. We go, okay, the third dimension is at this vibratory range, so if we want to be there, we need to vibrate right here. And that's what we do. Now, from your perspective, since you named the third and the fourth, third and fourth, I'm going to arbitrarily go down with one and two, but in reality, there's infinite vibrations in all directions of what you would call uh, the third and the fourth. Infinite directions, what you would say up, down, sideways, all around. Infinite vibrations that are available outside of what you would call the third dimension. What you would lock onto is the third dimension. So when somebody vibrates just a little bit off, that is when they see ghosts. When you vibrate just a little bit a different direction, you may see the wall move. If you vibrate, just it's kind of like if you are going to a channel in a, on a radio station and you start to pick up stuff and you go, oh, oh, that's not the direction that I want to go. And you go back and you you home in on the, the vibration that you want, the station that you want. And that's when you get it. And you lock it in and you punch the button. You say, okay, that's where it is. Okay. That's what you're doing when you go to any reality any reality. That's how all of them are here at the same place at the same time. That's how you can have the now. Okay? All you've got to do is change your vibration and it goes to something else. There isn't an up, down, sideways. It's a different vibration. So you change your vibration, and, uh, but because you're in time space, we use things like going up and going down, even though that's not accurate. It's simply a change of where you are of vibration. So when I when you say where is what does one and two look like it's completely different, but so is any other vibration that you change and tune to. And it's that changing of vibration that will get you out of this creation of duality into another creation, or a mid range that will get you back to source. Okay, it's another vibration that gets you back to source. Uh, people make a big deal about that, but that's simply vibrating a different way that locks you into the all that is and doesn't focus you in one of these creations that have been made on one of these vibratory levels. So when you create something, you pick a vibration that hasn't been chosen before, kind of, <laughs> and you create your creation in that vibratory space. Like you pick a, a radio, you own a radio station, and it's a new one, so you pick one of the um, frequencies that has not been chosen before, and you create a radio station out of that frequency. All of your radio station, all of the words that come out of it, all of the programming, all of the everything is at that frequency, right? All of it, even though there's a whole bunch of it, is still at that frequency. Well, that's how this is done. 
you create something at that frequency and when somebody wants to come and play with you in your creation they come and vibrate at that frequency and interact and you kind of use baby tiny little bits of differences on that frequency partial frequency that people can stay at to, to have that experience it's completely unique in that experience so when I say get happier and happier I'm having you increase your vibration to a point where you remember who you are so you can vibrate wherever you want to you can stay in fifth dimensional earth you can go to another planet you can go outside this creation you can go back to source you can tweak your vibration you remember that you can change your vibration anywhere you want and go anywhere you want that's how it works that's how uh, moving uh, beam me up Scotty works too you just know how to change your frequency of this body and just change it over to um, Australia and Sydney on the beach and that frequency over there is different than it is where you're sitting here but you know how to change that frequency of your body to match the frequency of Sydney Australia on the beach and there you are there you are I know it sounds simple doesn't it and it is whenever you get outside of the the time space and you get outside of your human brain it is it's very easy so why all of us that have been there we go well it's no big deal it's very simple everybody can do it because right now you've got belief systems that say it's hard to do it it's hard to do it you can't do it because it's meant to be that way to keep you here otherwise you would just change your frequency and leave and the whole point is for you to be in this place so with these situations okay does that make sense? Hopefully. All right. Let's see how you handle that one. Okay. All right. Big hugs. Love you guys bunches. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.